Happy Wednesday, Trade Hackers. Today is May 13th. Starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. What new features has Tastyworks released? They just did a bundled release of a few cool new features. If you want to keep up to date to see where these are released, just go to support.tastyworks.com. You'll come to this page here and then just click on tech support. And then you can click on recent release notes. So here's a quick summary. Pairs trading. You can now do one-click pairs trading. So if you want, like in their example, if you want to buy Tesla and sell General Motors against each other, you can do that. It takes a little bit of the directional trading out of the equation and you're just trying to profit from the spread between two similar symbols. So you could do bonds versus notes, S&P versus Russell, Walmart versus Target. There's a, you know, a lot of different similar symbols that you may have uh, an assumption with a favorite over the other. And so you can profit potentially from those pair trades. It makes it very easy to do. So that's the first release. The other thing is outright futures rolling. So I haven't actually tested this yet, and I'm not even sure if it's available for options on futures. I don't think so. I think it's just if you're trading futures and you're rolling to the next cycle, you can roll that future in one click as opposed to closing one and reopening. I, I assume options on futures are coming, uh, but I don't believe that's in place yet. I will be, by the way, I'll be doing separate videos that'll be posted on the blog for each of these. So look for those very soon. I've already recorded the one on pairs trading. Once I become more familiar with the futures rolling, I will uh, do a video on that. And then lastly, IV chart indicator. So finally, they've created an indicator for implied volatility that you can put directly on your chart. Let's go to the platform and take a look live. So if we go to, I'm on DIA, if you just click on your charts, Go to indicators, it's the first one, TWIVR, you can add that, and then this is what it'll look like. It's kind of cool what they've done is they are actually showing the high and the low for the day. So, you know, today, May 13th, you can see implied volatility rank on DIA has had a, uh, been at a high of 44.28 and a low of 37.01. They do not have IV percentile for whatever reason. I, you know, our thinkorswim indicator, we show both IV rank and IV percentile. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, I like to look at both. There are certain situations where IV rank kind of have a has a spike in it, you know, based on the way that it's calculated. Whereas IV percentile might be a little smoother. So in different situations, we like to use one versus the other. So I still like ours better, but this is definitely on the right path. And then secondly, the pairs trading. So you just go to the trade tab. You'll see there's a new tab here labeled pairs. You click on that. You can put in your symbols that you want to do a pairs trade on. Uh, you create a, a saved pairs watch list so you can easily toggle between the different pairs that you want to trade. And you can pop out a chart that gives you the actual price of the spread. So you can use limit orders to enter that spread and it fills both orders at the same time. Uh, so you don't have to worry about legging in and out. So some cool features coming on Tastyworks. All right, let's go to the Toss platform. Uh, we we do trade, you know, we trade our alerts portfolio on Toss. We trade our some of our other accounts on Toss, but we also have accounts with Tastyworks. So we trade both. I would I would label it as Thinkorswim is our primary broker, and Tastyworks is kind of our secondary broker. But I do like different things about each. So what happened in the markets today? Well, S and P's down a cool forty. Dow down over 400, NASDAQ down 85, and the Russell down 37. Market just closed about 20 minutes ago. Oil down about a percent, gold up about a percent, bonds up a little bit, Natty Gas down about 4%, another big move lower in Natty Gas. And so what's, what's driving the market? Well, the Fed came out and discussed kind of his gloomy outlook on the economy one of the things mentioned that is a potential is that of negative interest rates. Now, you know, Japan has had that, the, some countries in Europe have had negative interest rates. 
And, you know, there's a debate on, you know, how bad that is for the economy. Obviously, it hurts banks. But, you know, we'll see, you know, that that's definitely something that uh, Jerome Powell mentioned as a potential to help continue stimulating this economy. The next Fed announcement, the next next Fed meeting is June 9th. And so, you know, it may they may wait till then. But if, you know, things start to get hairy in their eyes as far as the data coming in, uh, they may take action even sooner. So we'll see what happens there. The other thing that they mentioned is the Fed is actually going to start buying bond ETFs and in a way to help in their mind, try to try to prop up the corporate bond market. So obviously TLT being the major one. Now they didn't come out and say they're going to buy TLT. They didn't give any names of any ETFs, but they did say that they would be buying. They would be on the out on the retail market, buying bond ETFs to help stabilize and or prop up the corporate debt market. So first time that's ever happened. Uh, so it's, it is kind of a big deal. And, you know, so we don't have any history to tell us is, is that going to help? Is it not going to help? Gosh, I just, I don't know. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta look into that a little bit more before I really base any, any solid opinion on, on whether I think that's good or bad. The other thing, what's going on? Uh, another acquisition. You know, we talked about Amazon potentially buying AMC theaters. Now, yesterday, Uber came out and said they are going to buy Grubhub. You know, and, which is one of their competitors. You know, most of the time we think of Uber as ride sharing, but they also have a big division called Uber Eats, which uh, goes and picks up food for people and delivers it. There's like three or four of these uh, meal delivery services, three, three or four big ones, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and I'm, I can't think of the other one off the top of my head. But uh, this purchase, this merger of Uber Eats and Grubhub will make them definitely the leader as far as market share. They'll have over 50% of the market share. In that space, there's a lot of uh, discounting and things going on, so they look at that as potentially... Being able to stabilize pricing and not have to discount so much. If you look at Grubhub, ticker G-R-U-B, obviously on the news, shot up yesterday from 47 up to above 60, hit a high of almost 65. So we will see what happens there. But, you know, I think a lot of these companies that do have cash are looking at some of these stocks uh, that have been just beaten up and uh, looking for some deals, some ways to create cost efficiencies between the companies. So I think we'll see more of that, especially if if we see, you know, stocks go down again and their prices get even more attractive. I think we'll see a little bit more mergers and acquisitions. All we did in our personal account was manage some, adjust some trades, didn't add any new ones today. Uh, Banks got hammered today. Look at Bank of America down four and a half percent. Look at JP, JP Morgan. Where's JP? JP, 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 JP down three and a half percent. Airlines got hammered. Uh, Delta down, Delta down over seven percent. UAL, United Airlines has the most overseas exposure, uh, down nine percent. Boeing got hit again, not as bad as the others, but down three percent. So a lot of red on the day, few uh, few greenies in here. Netflix, again, continues to stay strong in the midst of everything. Uh, Shopify, home, home shopping. Uber, again, you know, staying strong. So that's what we got going on today, folks. Everybody have a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.